We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Pittsburgh Pirates. So stepping in, Javier Baez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder is on the move. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Here's Jason Hayward now. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. The 1-1. One -one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Slap hard the opposite way, but this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. The third base. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. In now, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The one-two. Hit back up the middle. Baez has it. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. So here's Adam Frazier. Batter pitcher matchup numbers with Tyler Chatwood. He's three for nine. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Chatwood has racked up over 800 innings in his big league career. And sports an ERA right around the major league average at just over four. Around first, he's digging for second. He's around second now as they're still searching for it out there. And he is in there at third with a one out triple. Well, it's a lone runner all the way over at third after the error. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. But not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Hit out towards second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1 0 lead. Batting four. The first base thing. So now to the plate. Josh Bell. High in the air out to center field. Half is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Colin Moran. He's ready for his first at bat of his early season contest. A 1 1 home. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but a foul ball, 1 and 2 now. From the belt, the pitch pulled toward right center field. Hayward has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He had a homer in the ballgame yesterday afternoon. Now the one and one pitch. The bouncer to the left side. He's right there. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that brings in Anthony Rizzo. The 2 1. One out, nobody on.
This is on the ground over to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. One and two, here it comes. Two out, nobody on. Outside in a full count, three and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter on that one. And a base hit, the first of the game for the Cubs. So the two out base hit, and the top of the inning is still alive. That is tough. The center fielder, number eight. Ian. Into the box now, Ian Happ. All even now, two and two. As a look, now the pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Here's Gregory Polanco. He was hitless in yesterday's shutout loss, as were many of his teammates. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Up next for the Buckos, Kevin Kramer. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. One and one, here it comes. To first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. What a play. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. And Hayward will make the catch, and that ends the inning. is the second baseman Jason Kipnis he comes in after a day of rest yesterday so we'll see if it did him any good the 1-1 one, one home man that's one of those how could you not swing at that one a good take there on that pitch three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter you can bet they'd love ball four here that gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Full count, three and two. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Got it, got it. So in now for Chicago, Tyler Chatwood. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. And he misses the bunt attempt, so it's a ball and two strikes now. He's going to be looking down at the third base coach right now, hoping he takes this bunt sign off. It's just a lost art in today's game. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And the two-strike bunt will get foul, so he doesn't do his job here. And that brings up Javi Baez. He flied out leading off the ball game. Kipnis leads off first with one away. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Polanco has a read on it. Two down. So two are gone now in the Cubs half of the third. And that will bring up the multi-gold glover Jason Hayward. Here's the one and one pitch. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Mitch Keller, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And it's 1-2. and two. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. 
the basket. Stepping in, Kevin second Newman. Defense. Second at bat Kevin. now. He grounded out to start the home Newman. first. Inside and low, two and one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Adam Frazier waits on deck. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Here's Kipnis now, the second baseman. And that's the second out. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Bases are empty here with two men out. Very high, 2 and 1. Lifted down the line in left. And this is hauled in on the run as he takes quite a tumble but hangs on, and the inning is over. Standing in, Chris Bryant. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Now the Cubs four hole hitter Wilson Contreras he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah Matty expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here the double play is in order anything on the ground the way this defense is they could certainly roll too. Sitting in a good spot right here two ball one strike count is yet to see a fastball have to be sitting on one right here. Here now the 2-2. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. High and deep to right. Back goes Polanco. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So one away here in the Chicago fourth and into bat next the left handed hitting first baseman Anthony Rizzo. A one one. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul so a missed opportunity there. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Now batting. So the runner at first here Kyle. with two gone in the inning. Schwarber. And next it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. That's lifted the other way out to left. Frazier is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Ready now, Brian Reynolds. The 2 2. Three balls. Josh Bell is on deck. Slide and a stop by Baez. He goes to first. He's out. And what a vital play there, preventing the leadoff man from getting aboard. So the base is empty here with one away. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. This has popped up. Contreras moving to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now so bases are empty here with two gone. Play. And that'll bring Colin. up Colin Moran. Moran. One run, just one hit, and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball.
And this pitch is taken high and away to fill the count. It's three and two. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And there's the first out. So now one away here with the bases empty. And standing in now, the power hitting Kipnis. second baseman, Jason Kipnis. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Now that the pitcher, Tyler Chatwood. To the plate now, Tyler Chatwood. And he fouls this one off. No runs, two hits, one error for the Cubs to this point. And that misses two and two. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Now back, now back to the leadoff spot in the Javier. Cubs lineup. Stepping Javier. forward, Javier Baez. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. A ball and two strikes now. Misses ball two. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Jason Hayward would be next. Hit hard on the ground to second, and that'll get by into center field for a base hit. The tying run is in to score from second. Now batting, White Hewitt, Jason Hayward. At the plate, Jason Hayward. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Counts even to Hayward, two balls and two strikes. Ball three. Three and two now. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Pitch popped up. Moran is there for it. And that retires the side. Now batting, Gregory Polanco. As we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. The 1-1 home is laid off of down and in. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The 2-2 is looked at, and the count moves full. Count still full, 3-2. Another payoff pitch. Now this is on the ground for Baez. It's short. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Now with the plate, the Kevin Kramer. Number 44. Two balls and a strike. Bases are empty, one man in. Strike two is the fastball that's let go. If he's able to locate that two-seamer down at the knees, he's going to get a ton of swing and miss and a ton of ground balls today. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. 
pulls this one into the air out into right field. Hayward has a read on it. Two down. Coming to the plate now, Jacob Stallings. He flew out in his last at bat. Two out, nobody on. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Stephen Brault is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 43. Digging in, Chris Bryant. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. Once again, a 3-2. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four. So the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Number 40. The next hub up, Wilson Contreras. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Now a change of locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. There's the 2 1 home. Grounded up the first baseline. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Jose Osuna is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer and that's out number one. So the Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman, he was retired via the ground ball last time up. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. So digging in now, Adam Frazier. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Down the first baseline. Rizzo is there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Robbie Ehrman will come on and make now, his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 72. Bobby. Digging in. Kyle Schwarber. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And they have taken the lead. Stepping in now, Ian Happ. Grounded to third. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now better. So coming to the plate, Jason Kipnis. One run in and one gone so far this inning. The 2 1. Will not catch the zone, ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so. He can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Bell scoops it up. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Digging in. Tyler Chatwood. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Up high. 2 and 1 now. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. That gets down, and the inning continues. The batter, number nine, shortstop, Javier Bayer. 
At the plate now, Javier Baez back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Up next to the car, the right fielder. In now, Jason Hayward. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Weak roller right side. Bell picks it up. Flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now to the plate, Brian Reynolds. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Alec Mills takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first, and nobody out. So now to the plate, Josh Bell. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Lays off two and two now. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Schwarber will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Digging in once again, Colin Moran. He was robbed of a hit in his last at-bat, so he'll try to change his fortunes here. Yeah, you got to control the controllables, Matty. All you can do is put barrel to baseball and see what happens. You cannot control the defensive wizardry on the other side. Now the 2-1 pitch. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. This is on the ground over to first. Rizzo is there to second for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Richard Rodriguez will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 48. New inning set to get underway. Here's Chris Bryant now. No hits to this point. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. So one gone here in the Chicago 8. And Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. The ball in two strikes. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Now a swing and a miss. Maybe even a foul tip, but it's held onto behind the plate for out number two. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Matty. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order. Kyle Ryan is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 56. Kyle. Leading off the inning, Gregory Polanco, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Now the one and one pitch. Taken strike two. Ryan has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. And this is pop foul but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Heading out towards shallow right. Hayward has a read on it. One down. At the plate, Kevin Kramer. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One out, nobody on.
hit hard up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. The throw into second, and he's safe. Now into the box, Jacob Stallings. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Fouled away. Runner at second here with one man out. Right down Main Street caught him looking. Eric Gonzalez come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. This is on the ground over to first. Rizzo is there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nick Birdie enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Digging in and looking for more, Kyle Schwarber. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. The last at bat, Matty D, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. A full count now to Kyle Schwarber. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Ian. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Now so a runner at first now with one away. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Victor Caratini will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number seven. That's lifted the other way out to left. Frazier is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Dan Winkler enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 43. Dan. All set for the bottom of the ninth. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Kevin Newman. They could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer. But this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Kevin Newman goes quietly to lead off the bottom of the ninth. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. A little early and now it's even at two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first That's two men he faces out of the bullpen. Now the one and one pitch. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, and they know this is going to be a tough stretch on the road. To win the first game of the series has got to feel pretty good. Something to build on for tomorrow. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. Chicago jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. 
Tyler Chatwood takes the win on the mound his second of the year permitting only two hits in six complete innings. Dan Winkler wraps it up for the save his fourth of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show for more. Find us on Twitter at MLB the show. Here now is the final line for tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Two runs, six hits, two errors. They left eight men on base. For the Pirates, one run on three hits, one error. They left three men on base. The winning pitcher is Tyler Chetwood. His record is now 2 and 0. Oh. The loss goes to Robbie Orlet. He falls to 0 oh and 1. Time of the ball game. 10 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.